Well, you know, uh, illicit drugs is a scourge uh, throughout the country, and uh, the fact of the matter is uh, illicit drug use in, uh, amongst our young people, amongst all segments of the population, is going up, and in fact we have one of the worst records in the OECD. So we have a problem in this country. We're the first government that's acknowledging that we have a problem, and we're the first government through our national anti-drug strategy that's actually uh, saying that we have to have an approach that is uh, tough on the criminals and the criminal behavior, but also has prevention and treatment aspects to it. So uh, we do have, uh, we're putting about two-thirds of our new money into treatment and prevention programs, and I'm uh, in the last stages of uh, working on uh, uh, proposals where uh, Guelph or uh, some other community can apply for federal money to deal with uh, upgrading their treatment programs. So you'll be hearing more about this soon, but uh, we're, we're very committed to that, and, and, and if Guelph has a problem, uh, the federal government should be part of the solution. Okay. Um, how do you see the drug problem in Guelph? as compared to other places in Ontario? Well, I think Ontario uh, has, uh, has, some, uh, has some issues in, in, uh, in smaller communities. This is not just a big city problem. This is not just a Toronto problem or a Hamilton problem. This is, uh, in my community, communities in Perry San Muskoka, we do have, uh, we do have drug addiction and uh, gangs and uh, uh, grow-ups and the whole thing. It would, be, it would surprise me if Guelph were immune uh, from that. So uh, this is a problem that we're tackling. We're the only party that is suggesting that uh, we have to have an approach that deals with uh, not only treatment and prevention but also enforcement, getting the bad guys and uh, getting them off our streets. Uh, so uh, we're committed to that and uh, I think with Gloria as your representative, you're going to have someone who will be a tireless advocate for the needs uh, and uh, the concerns of Guelph residents. Um, I think a lot of people hear when they read national media coverage about drugs in Canada, they read about Vancouver. And I was wondering if you could help me explain to them the concrete differences between the drug problem in Guelph and the drug problem in Vancouver. Well, I mean, Vancouver uh, is almost unique in the sense that uh, in a 15-block you know, radius, you've got 15,000 users. Uh, you know, uh, of illicit drugs, of hard illicit drugs. So uh, that's, uh, in terms of scope, it's uh, pretty well unprecedented in uh, in the country. Uh, but, uh, you know, uh, we, uh, it doesn't matter what community you're from. I, I'm a parent of three kids myself. I know Gloria is, is a mom. Uh, you know, you worry about uh, what are our kids uh, learning from the street? What are they learning at school? Uh, you know, what are they learning from images on television? These kinds of things, and so this is a this is a common this is a common issue. It's not just a Vancouver issue or a Montreal and Toronto issue, and so that's why, for the first time in 20 years, I uh, put on television uh, commercials uh, and on radio uh, commercials designed to encourage parents to have the discussion with their kids about illicit drugs, learn the language of drug use of the 21st century, have the discussion. We actually have some. Uh, some materials that you can get online or uh, or in a hard copy form that can help you have that discussion with your kids, and I, I think that's very important. Could you help me tell the, my readers uh, some concrete information about the drug problem in Guelph? Well, I, drugs are used in yeah, I mean, uh, look, I, I'm not I'm not an expert on 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 Guelph. Gloria is the expert on Guelph, mm -hmm. uh, but I, I would listen to someone like Gloria. Uh, she would be able to advocate for the the appropriate programs that are, that would be in place here. Uh, but uh, you know, Guelph is is not an island. It's it's not immune to the same kinds of concerns of uh, small and medium sized communities throughout Ontario and throughout Canada. And and uh, and I'm 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 here. I want to be helpful. I want to get at these addictions. I want to get at them through treatment and prevention. Uh, I don't want to ignore them. Uh, and uh, that's uh, why we are we've revamped completely the drug policy of the uh, Canadian government. Um, you spoke about the prevention and treatment side of drug policy. How does harm reduction fit into that? Well, I think uh, uh, prevention is harm reduction. Treatment is harm reduction. Enforcement is harm reduction. These are all aspects of harm reduction. And uh, I think, you know, when I, when I look at it as a parent, uh, if, my, if my, one of my children had a problem with drugs, if they ever did, Lord forbid, but if, if they ever did, I'd want the government on my side, uh, A, uh, uh, getting the message out how harmful illicit drugs are, but B, if there is a problem, helping me get the right treatment. And that, that's what I expect out of government, as well as going after the bad guys. If I were to define harm reduction more strictly, saying clean needles, clean pipes, supervised sure. injection can be part of that, um, how much does that play into the, the prevention and treatment aspect you were well, talking uh, about? Well, you know, uh, heroin injection, supervised injection is not harm reduction. 
I've said that, said it before, I'll say it again, it's harm addition. There's no way you can convince me, and you can't convince a lot of drug, uh, drug addiction experts either, that they're on my side on this as well, uh, that, um, that allowing someone, condoning someone to stick a needle in their veins and shoot up heroin is in any way harm reduction. So, uh, but a needle, uh, ex- needle exchange, uh, uh, having the right kinds of uh, medical professionals to be available, which is what we're doing on the downtown east side, treatment beds, those are all aspects of harm reduction.